going to talk to the most in the world. That's the question. Oh, like, like, like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Honestly, I don't, when I look, yeah, when I look back on the season, I don't even, I really don't even think about the wins and the losses of, it, of our season. Like, the, exactly, the things that I remember is the, all the bonds that we formed, all the memories that we've made, everything that'll like, it'll carry with me throughout my whole life. With just like with these guys that have been on the field with me pretty much my whole life. I think even that, it's not wearing the same jersey as these guys again. Like, walking out as a big team, and you got Black Hawk right across your chest, it's something different. You're all the same person at that point. No one's special. We've all played together like our whole lives since we started playing football, so it's cool, you know. I started with them, so I finished with them. Yeah, just, just like team bonding and just being together. I think just the aspect that we all know each other more than anybody else knows, knows us, so it's nice to be around them. I started sophomore year. And he only yeah. started last year. Yeah, yeah. I, I was the only one out of us three here from freshman year. So Bobby, when he first came along, he was always a quiet kid. Yeah, I never really uh, knew many. I didn't really, uh, wasn't really friends with these guys before I joined the football team. But uh, when I joined my uh, junior year, really got to know these guys a lot better, uh, along with all the other football players, whether they're seniors or underclassmen. And it was really just a fun experience. Yeah, once I joined, I. I knew these guys, but like I wasn't really like close with them. I really became close to them once we started playing together. I think more of a family than a group. Like, I mean, I know every, like most people on this team, if not everyone, would have my back. And same with Jonah, and I'd have everyone's back, and we'd all stick up for each other no matter what. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, throughout like throughout the summer, I think we've really like gone gotten to like know each other a lot better and just playing with each other for the fact that the last four years we've really gotten to like grow and grow and like expand with each other bleed sweat cry everything like together just that like unity really helps like i would put everything make the in, season better yeah, mm -hmm. i put Definitely everything in, oh, yeah. in my passion to do whatever i would us spending time together. together outside of football made it made a lot football. better a lot better. Because yeah. the jokes would carry through from yeah. practice so to many uh, inside jokes. Mm -hmm. inside it makes it jokes. so much easier to go through practice with yeah. inside jokes. Because no one else knows what you're talking about. No one does. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there's anybody on the team that I don't like. I mean, we're best friends. <laughs> yeah, we're best friends. <laughs> yeah, Having a group yeah. of people that you're friends with definitely helps out with even losing seasons. Because at least you have somebody else to lean on the whole way. I'd say the Indiana win. You know, we started out the season 0-2, and it was just a great feeling. You know, we finally got that first win under our belt, and, you know, we had something to build off of. It gave us some confidence. Playing games, just running around, just tackling people, and just hitting people. And as a defense that day, we played as such a good team. Yeah, the whole team that's together, true. honestly. That's true. I think Same with Trinity, though, too. I get what you're saying with yeah. that, because when we came out second half, we're, we were, we're ready to go. the best team yeah. we've been all year.
I think it was when we won against Ambridge and everybody was doubting us and we still came back and won it anyway. Refs, it seemed like everybody was against us, but we won anyway. I liked uh, when we were at uh, El Paso, and oh. we told them it was his birthday. <laughs> they brought out the sombrero and everything. They pined him in the face. It was great. Yeah, uh, this year, like almost every week was my birthday. <laughs> every week on Thursday was my birthday. They what always is this, well. He's oh, it's like a. Uh, it was senior dinner, and all 19 of us, or as many of us that could, would get together. We'd go to a place to and to families would pay for it. Everyone was the whole time saying, Will, it's your birthday. Will, it's your birthday. This was the first week that they did it. And all of a sudden, just I hear noise coming from behind me. They put a hat on me and they pie me in the face. Every week was his birthday. He's like 25. Yeah, I'm like 25 now. The past three days have been my birthday. I think my favorite moment out of just coming home was off of winds oh, and yeah. just jamming out to country music all the whole time. American girls and American guys will always stand up and salute. We'll always recognize when we see old glory flying. There's a lot of men dead so we can sleep in peace at night when we lay down our heads. Oh, oh yeah, courtesy yeah, see the were. red, white, and blue. <laughs> My daddy served in the army. We lost his right eye, but he flew a flag out in our yard till the day that it that was a nice song like every, When did that start? Every game. Was, when did that start? Last year. Yeah. With the last season. Mm. Well, well. Yeah, that was a big one. That was a good one. I brought to you courtesy of the red, white, and blue. That was a couple of that. That's a couple of that. Yeah, yeah. courtesy of the red, white, and blues are a big one. But we got a couple of devil went down to Georgia's in there sometimes. <laughs> we play that and country reds oh, yeah. <laughs> coming into the high school. Yeah, I think the couple hours after a win, there may not have been many of them, but when we did, it was one of the most fun parts. Yeah, country reds. Definitely country reds. Yeah. Oh, DJ. Yeah, go ahead, man. Nope. Go ahead. You got a good DJ, voice. come on. DJ. That's not me. DJ, no. come on. Man, you got to do it. DJ, come I'm on. Not saying, no, DJ, I'm not saying. I'm no Carl Jazz Carl. I'm DJ, not come on, dude. DJ, come on. Say it. Growing like a breeze, country roads. Take me home to the place I belong. Sometimes a season's not defined on completely just wins. I really feel like sometimes, or maybe the season could be a success, whether that's just confidence, whether that's getting playing time, and even not just success for us, but the underclassmen who will be here next year, they got valuable playing time, and well, maybe next year, two wins might, not, might just be the first two season, uh, games.
I think the hardest part was getting on the bus to get to the last game. Is because that, that's like you realize that it's the very last time you're gonna go somewhere that you've played with, you like you played at for a long time in your life. Last game was rough. I've been playing since I was, like I said, I've playing since I was so young that I never actually expected it to end. And when it ended, it just hit like a brick wall, all like the last game. And it was kind of a shell shock, but at the same time, I'm very glad I got to play football for 11 years of my life. I'd say for me, uh, definitely after our Newcastle game, our last game of the season, uh, like he said, it hit me like a prick wall. Uh, I cried like a baby. <laughs> you know, it was just uh, our last game, you know, suiting up with all your brothers, all your seniors, all your underclassmen, and uh, it really hit me at that point. It would probably be the first day of the last week of practice. I was like, oh crap, this is it. This is, we're, we're done after this, no more football. Yeah. It's still kind of crazy to think about that. We're not just going to walk out here, go strap on some pads and go play again. It, it just, it's, you don't know what you have. You have so much time after school that you're wondering what you're going to do with that time now. And it, it all just ended abruptly. Considering I'm probably not going to play college football, so like this is the last, you know, eight weeks I would ever play, nine weeks I'd ever play football every day, so. I'm definitely gonna miss it and being with these guys. Yeah, I think just the team aspect, like even if we, any of us do play college football, just the fact that it won't be with these guys that we've been with since we're mm -hmm. kids, like at least I can say on defense, when somebody got a tackle, we all felt proud of each other. It was a big group effort on both sides. I didn't really notice like that it was really coming until like I, we started experiencing a lot of our last. Like, for instance, like the last day of camp, the last practice, the last Monday practice, like just all the, like, all the last that come with the football season. Mm -hmm. And that's when, they, that's when it like really hit me. I think it honestly hit me like towards the beginning of the season because I didn't play last year. So it was like, like wow, I missed out on my whole junior year. Like, eight years. Yeah, you should have played, Not buddy. Close. He did leave us. It's unacceptable. But, like, like coming back, like being with my friends, like that's the reason I came. Like, cause like these are my bros. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't rather spend time with anybody else. So. Yeah, definitely yeah, family. family. Cause mm -hmm. we're all, we're all like brothers. Yeah, we I all mean, mess with each other. Yeah, it's all it's all fun. All right, one more. <laughs>